Previously on The Bill. I am going to have to arrest you, you know that. Yeah, but everything's going to be all right, yeah? You will help me. Of course I will, don't worry. Everything's going to work out just fine. Get down! I said get down! Gabriel! Lance. See Oscar from 363. Get back in the flats, move! Don't you stand there, move! Get out of the way, move! Urgent assistance required. Run. Build up half. Shots Stop. fired, Stop. over. Move now! Oi, back inside, come. Today! Move! Where are you going? See Oscar from 54. Assistance required. Sniper on the roof. On the office, Robert, inside of house. Great, here we go again. Gabriel! Gabriel! You okay? Think so. What about Kirkby? Ambulance is on its way. Sniper. Yeah, I got that. Did you see him? No. I've lost the suspect, but I need all units to help local victims, now! Any news on casualties, over? Gabe was okay. Victim John Kirkby. Gunshot wound to the lower back. Considerable blood loss. Was the victim the intended target, over? Unclear. Gabe was right next to him. So he could have been Gabriel who was after him. Okay, as of this moment, no officer goes out without a bulletproof vest, Jack. I'll contact the borough commander and liaise with the major investigation team. D.I. Morell will secure the scene. We'll need roadblocks, Trojan units, and SO-19s to keep uniform company. It's going to make the relief jumpy. Relief is going to be jumpy anyway. I'm going to the scene. Keep me informed. Sure. How you doing? You've been pinned down by 15 stone of dead weight. What's Smithy up to? Why? I'm going to help out. Where are you going? You've got to go to the hospital. Look, I'm no use here, am I? Busy hand. You OK? I'll live, sir. Yeah, never a dull moment around you, is it? We're going to need help. Can Sun Hill assist us on this one? Of course. Where do we start? What do you want me to do? I want you to go to hospital. You've just been shot at. You've got to cut to the head. It's just a scratch, sir. Hospital now. Bruce, there's been another shooting. Baldock House. Yeah, it's the sniper, all right. Listen, I've got to go. Checking the roof to find out exactly where the shot came from. We need a break and we need it now. If we don't get our lead, the press will have a field day. How's Gabriel gone? He's OK, he wasn't sure. Was he the target? We've got to assume that that's a strong possibility. Uh, the victim, John Kirkby, he was involved in a custody battle. But we don't know why anybody would want to shoot him. Yeah. Well, that's Gabriel. OK. Look, uh, the phones are going crazy. The public are obviously rattled. Well, poor old uniform, eh? They might as well wear a target on their back. We're going to get them some armed guards. Oh, that'll freak them out. But Kerry wasn't in uniform and she was shot. Yes, I am. OK, right. Well, we're all a bit jittery. Yeah, sure. But the point is, be careful and look out for each other. So stay focused and get to work. Bet you wish you were on that cruise with June. They've got that old now gunshot wound to the back. Chest is clear, GCS of 12. BP 100 over 80, pulse 102, right 20, sats 98 percent. He's had five milligrams of morphine and two units of heart in Where are you? I need to speak to you now. 
They think that we will live. Paramedic says it's critical. Depends on whether they can get the bullet out. I told her I think it was going to be okay. And you didn't know what was about to happen. No. No, I didn't. I'm wasting my time here. Look, just let them give you the once over in case you're concussed or something. I want to get hold of the guy who did this. We all do. You just take a seat. Definitely only one shot. Yeah. But he knew what he was doing. He didn't hang about. He planned his escape route and blocked it. This is not someone that was panicking. We'll get him. Yeah, we have to. He killed Kerry. Any forensics? Not yet. We've got a witness who saw a man walking away clutching a bag. Description? Thirties. Medium height and built. Your average Joe. Nothing else? Nothing that stands out. What's all that? I'll check. Sir, you might have something here. Blueprint. And it ain't mine. You'd think they'd want to be as far away as possible, wouldn't you? You can't be the good bit of rubbernecking. Come on now, please, move along. You might be safe standing here. We need to keep this area clear. Right, right. Vultures are gathering. What are you doing? What does it look like? Look, get some rest. It's not every day you get shot at. Check me. I'm fine. Have they got the sniper? No. Kirk me. They've got the bullet out. He's still critical, but he's hanging on. Look, give me a break, can you? You shouldn't Hello? even have that on in it. Hello? You could be in shock, mate. Since when did you become the expert? He doesn't have to be. It's common sense. You could still be a target. Gov? We're going to keep you in overnight. No, I want to go home. I've got duty of care and I have to protect you. We'll get you some clothes. I'm fine. And you'll be getting an armed guard. Listen up. We've got good news. Gabriel is fine and should be back with us today. The bad news is that according to both CID and MIT, there's been no major developments overnight, so our sniper is still very much with us. And judging by the amount of phone calls we've had from the public, people are panicking. There is a lot of tension out on the estate, so we need to get out there and start reassuring them. We could tell them not to worry. It's us he's really after. Or we could lead by example, remain focused and get on with the job. Nothing stops because of this sniper. Now, you've all been given your ballistic body armour. And armed response officers will be accompanying you everywhere. Any questions? If people are on edge, they're not going to be overjoyed to see us with ARVs and body armour on, are they? No. But there's nothing I can do about it. What can I say? It's going to be a tough day, but we're going to have to get on and do it. While we're all here, can I welcome PC Kapoor, who's joining us from Barton Street? Don't do it, girl. There's still time. Sheila, can you pair up with Kapoor? Sarge. There you go. PC Murphy will show you around. Thanks. OK, everyone, that's it. Sarge, are you cross with me? For what? Telling Gabriel that you told MIT. About Kerry? Yeah. I'll get over it. I've got other things to be annoyed about. Such as? Who's shooting my officers. You might not like Gable, but it's still my responsibility. But the thing that is really getting me is that whoever did this also killed Kerry. And I let him get away. You awake? I need to ask you a few questions. What did you see? I don't remember. I know this is hard, but it's important that you try to remember anything, however small. Nothing. 
Is that nothing that you don't remember? Or nothing that you didn't see anything? I didn't see anything. Doctor said you're gonna be fine. They told me I may never walk again. We're gonna get whoever did this. What good's that to me? You said you'd help me. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Will I be able to see my baby? I've got to go. What are you doing here? Seeing how he was. And? He's been better. Did he see anything? Nothing useful, no. Could we have a chat? I was just leaving. I hate hospitals. Especially when there's nothing wrong with me. It won't take long. You know the routine. You'll better go with the others. If you right, you will. I don't want to be with you. In case people talk. No, because you're lousy shots. Do we get paid extra if we get hit? Back three, Mum. You sure picked your day. <laughs> Sounds like it. Don't see the use of body armour. All he has to do is aim for the head or legs. Severed artery in the thigh and he can bleed to death in seconds. Roger's the positive one. <laughs> you must know Carol Watson. Kind of. Terrible about getting suspended. Do you know anything about it? No, not really. I wondered if maybe you'd got into trouble with her, and that's why you've been transferred here. Me, no. It was uh, something else. Carol's a good cop. It's a disgrace what's happened. Yeah, isn't it? PC Powell said that just before the sniper fired, you shouted for everybody to get down. That's right. What made you do that? Down. Something must have caught my eye. What? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was Sixth Sense. A movement, maybe. Birds flying up. I know this is hard. It's not hard for me. I just don't know anything. Something on the roof? No. Maybe. It's a pretty big office block. And the whole thing was split second. Bang. I'm under Kirkby and there's blood everywhere. It's just after the PC Young incident. What about it? Well, it's looking more and more possible. We've got a cop killer on our hands. We have to assume you were the intended victim. Lucky me. Do you think he was after you? I don't know. I've never been shot at before. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Is there anyone you know that has a grudge against you? Everyone I know has got a grudge against me. Joke. I'd better get on. If you think of anything. I know the score. Thanks. Listen up. They're claiming that it's us the snipers after. They're also saying we've got no idea who he is or why he's doing it. The annoying thing is that it's true. So tell me we've got something to help the major investigation team. Well, nothing from an eyewitness yet. We'll get them in front of Wads. If nothing comes out of that, we'll do an EFIT. Footprint? Forensics are onto it. What about the band that was clamped? No one's turned up to claim it yet. Keep on it. Go. We've got to find this animal before he makes a laughing stock of us all. No. We've got to find him before he targets someone else. <coughs> oh, it's kind of you to offer darling, you know. I'd better pull him then. Things are bad. Before she left, June said she was going to help me pay off my debts. She was going to lend me some money, but nothing's come through yet. Well, she'll come good. Yeah, of course. Meanwhile, we've got a burglary in the Walcott Road. Want to join the fun? Oh, hold me back. You'd been away for the weekend. We have a seaside place. More of a glorified beach hut, really, but my wife likes it. She didn't come back with you? No, this sniper business has really freaked her out. I came back this morning, let myself in, went upstairs first, saw they'd been in the bedroom, and then came down here. So what's gone missing, exactly? Down here. MP3 player, laptop, some DVDs, uh, and a Tiffany lamp. What about upstairs? They took my wife's dress watch. 
She never wore it. Said it looked common. I think it qualifies as blingy. I think you mean bling. So what's this watch worth? About ten grand. That's a lot of blingy. That's not the worst of it. They also took a bearer bond worth about twenty grand. Oh, did you leave any blank cheques lying around? I'll ignore that, shall I? What about the burglar alarm? Went off when I came in. They must have bypassed it. The panel's by the front door. Not easy without the access code. You'd think not. You would. So, what do you think? Professionals? Oh, yes. Professionals. Or someone who knew the code. No one knows the code apart from my wife. And me. Is that a fact? Right. I've just had the eye morale on the phone, chase and see if we've got any. So? Blood print a size 9. I'm a size 9, doesn't exactly narrow it down, does it? Forensics won't have any more on it for a couple of days. Eyewitness? The eyewitness drew a blank. It turns out it was a doctor visiting a patient. The patient's family have confirmed it. We're doing door to door and yes, Yeah, yeah, we're doing all the donkey work. It would be nice to be running our own investigation. I don't understand what he's saying. All I'm saying is, the whole thing looks staged. Yes, I get that. What I don't understand is why that means you're pointing the finger at me. We're not. He is. He's implying that I faked a burglary. Well, did you? Is this normally how the police respond to crime? By accusing the victims? Of course not. I'm not accusing anyone. I am just stating the obvious. You're making a fool of yourself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. Now, hold on just a minute here. All we're saying is that whoever did this knew the alarm code and probably had a key. Narrows it down a bit, doesn't it? What DC Carver means to ask you is, is there anybody else who had access to a key other than yourself or your wife? No one. Well, what about a home helper or cleaner? Nope. A neighbour? Well, I think Den might have one. Den? Next door. OK, uh, does this Den know the alarm code? I guess. But even if he does, it's not him. Because? Because he's a friend. Do you want to transfer it back yet? No way. So come on then, what did you do to get sent over here? Nothing special. Must have been pretty bad for them to airlift you into the middle of all this. Hey. It's him. What's him? The sniper. What makes you think he's the sniper? Well, he's as shady as you like, he's behind all sorts in the estate, and he's got a gun. How do you know he's got a gun? I've seen it. We all have. What sort of gun? It's about time you lot did something about it. Don't worry, Mr... Quinn. Barry Quinn. OK, Mr Quinn. We'll have a word. About the transfer. You're clearly going to find out sooner or later. Find out what? It was to do with Carol Watson. I was involved with her suspension. But not in the way you meant earlier. You blew the whistle on her. That's why you were transferred here. I had to report what I saw. You got a good cop suspended. I saw her assault a witness. I don't believe Carol had do I that. was there. Well, maybe you need to understand when legitimate force is actually required. Excuse me. What? PC Kapoor, PC Murphy, Sergeant Rollins, Sun Hill. We're sorry to inconvenience you. We'd like to ask you a few questions. It won't take a moment. They say you've got a gun. Yeah, they say a lot of things. They say I'm a nonce and they put feces through my door to prove it. It's called Neighbourhood Watch. Why would they do that? Because they hate me. They must have a reason. I don't gossip or go to the pub to watch football. I mean, I guess that makes me either a pervert or a sniper. We didn't say anything about a sniper. You don't have to. It's all anyone talks about around here. I say nothing. I'm not getting accused of harassment. You didn't answer the question, sir. Do you have a gun or not? They'd be lost without me round here. I mean, burglaries, muggings, kids' nightmares. Who else would they pin it on? Every community needs a scapegoat. And this one's got me. About the gun? The gun? <laughs> Do you want to see my gun? Step back! It's a water pistol. I use it to scare off the kids. You satisfied? All right. We're sorry to have troubled you. 
Your neighbours, the Levins, were burgled on the weekend. You're kidding. Are they okay? They're fine. Well, I didn't hear anything. I was here on Sunday. What about Saturday? Away. Took the kids camping. Are they around? They're with their mother. I get to see them once a week. We've uh, just split up. Shame. Yeah. You have a key to the Levin's house, is that right? I'm not sure I've still got it. Why? We believe whoever broke in had a key. Do you also know the code to the alarm? <laughs> well, not off the top of my head. I was given it, but I've never had to use it. It might be written down with a key. Jerry doesn't think it's me, does he? No. But we have to check. Would you mind going and looking for the key, Mr Shaw? Yeah, sure. He has a key and he has the code to the alarm. Don't forget, they are mates. Oh, well, we're mates of a sort, right? What would you do if you were really strapped for cash? Oh, I'll try and imagine, Ken. You'd rob me blind, wouldn't you? It doesn't seem that strapped to me. Yeah, well, he seems like he's about to get divorced to me. I'm not sure where I'm looking at the moment, but uh, I'll have another search and I'll get back to you if I find anything. Do you have a card? Yeah. Uh, I'll uh, be on this number. I'm working from home for a few days. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll give Jerry a ring. Try and cheer him up. Why not? What are you playing at? I could have been killed. You weren't though, were you? That's not the point. You only shoot the people I tell you to. Hello. You okay? Can't crumble. I'll just take it easy. What? Put my feet up, you mean? No, I mean be careful. Are you nagging me? Yeah, I'm nagging. You complaining? Yeah. Have, you, have you two seen Gabriel? No. No way. Because he's left hospital and nobody can find him. Did you see Gabriel? He was at the hospital, yeah. Had he been discharged? He was there when I left, but he was itching to go. So where is he then? Come on, come on. You nearly shot me. What were you doing? I don't want to shoot my mate. I don't know. Why would you want to shoot Kirkby? Is he dead? He'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Now, you're going to tell me what's going on or what? I've got to get out of here. Why? If they find the van, they'll trace it to me. I had to leave it behind. What did you do that for? I got chased by one of your lot. Yeah? You fouled things up. A pair of you did. What's it got to do with me? If you hadn't started squealing like a stuck pig, I wouldn't have misfired and Kirk would be dead. You weren't supposed to shoot him in the first place. You looked like you were arresting him. So I thought he was scum. He's all right. The others were scum. They deserved the bullet. You weren't supposed to shoot anyone else anyway. Not unless I said so. We had a deal. I know. So what happened? I wanted to teach you a lesson. Round. We found where he shot from. There was some residue on the ledge. Forensics? All over it. So the sniper must have shot from the roof. Tried to leg it down the stairs, but before he could get out, Smithy came gave. running, and our man went back onto the roof and made his escape from there. Exactly. Anything on the van? Maybe. It was hired, and it was due back last night. I'm going over to the hire company now. Good. At last, we're getting somewhere. I was sick of being stuck in this rat hole, waiting on you for instructions. Why shouldn't I choose who gets it? Why is it always you giving the orders? Look what happens when I don't. You mess up and I nearly get killed. You messed up when you killed PC Young. Kerry's got nothing to do with you. She was killed with my gun and my bullet. And anyone comes searching, I look like the cop killer, not you. So I'd say it's got a lot to do with me. We had a pact. You blew that when you shot your police friend. That wasn't part of the plan. Plans change. Good ones don't. We learned that in the army. We learned order. You have to adapt. I don't have to do anything. The other one fighting the crusade. I'm just the guy pulling the trigger. Who does what he's told? Who does as he pleases. The next time you've got a problem, you come to me, right? Instead of going out there trying to blow someone's brains out. No, no. Because that's just sick.
You're a fine one to talk, David Kent. Gabriel. No, it's David, actually. You've got a nerve calling me sick. I'm not the one going around pretending to be my brother. I'm not the one who's lost a plot. Do you think I'm losing it? I'd say the lines are getting pretty blurred, wouldn't you? Really? Is that a fact? Maybe this will clear them. So tell me again, David. Do you really think I'm losing it? Because I'd like to know. No. Not at all. Good. Because I don't either. Mind if I? No, be my guest. Sarge. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on my way in right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, Jimbo, get your skates on. We've got some action. Why? What you got? Well, it looks like our friend Dennis Shaw has not been entirely straight with us. I rang his office. What's he do for a job? Insurance. Now, get this. His wife works in the accounts department of the same firm, OK, and we got chatting. He didn't have the kids on the weekend. She won't let him near them at the moment. And as for working from home, no, it's more like some sort of extended gardening leave. Why? What's he done? Well, more like what she's done. She shacked up with the MD. And he's clearly trying to erase you off from the rest of her life. I wonder what he's got to say about that. Our guy hired the van yesterday morning at the crack of dawn. Yeah, but things went wrong and he had to leave it at the mm. scene. So what about his ID? Uh, driver's licence. We're checking the name and address now. Is the van still in situ? Yes. In fact, I'm heading over there now to find out how forensics are getting on. Is the hire company got CCTV? They don't. I asked already. Right, keep it going. You OK? Just wish we had more control, that's all. Well, the sniper case has to take priority. But we've other things to concentrate on as well, you know. Such as? We know the public aren't happy. I need an extra office on the vulnerable persons unit. We have to make the best use of our resources. We've got a guy out there shooting people and you're worried about the VPU. I'm worried about the public. And I'd like to think you were too. Well, that goes without saying. But with respect, sir, this is probably not the time to be having this conversation, is it? Do you see what you can do, will you? What did your sergeant want? He wanted to know where I was. Sweet of him? Not really. He sounded a bit stressed. He should be grateful. What for? What we do for him. Cleaning the scum off the streets. My thoughts entirely. We deserve medals for what we're doing. After what we've been through in combat. Yeah, brothers in arms. Exactly. Could you do us a favour? Could you put the gun down? Depends what's happening next. You stay here, I go back to the station. What about the van? What about it? Use a false name. They've got nothing to identify you. I'll find out what they do know. And we'll always be one step ahead. We go back to the plan. To the letter. You said it, Gabriel. There's a sniper out there taking pot shots, and you want to search Den's house? Tough old world, isn't it? You won't find anything. Does he look like someone who's into breaking and entering? No, but then again, you don't look like you're someone stupid enough to leave a small fortune lying around your house. Besides, Mr. Shaw has problems at home. Don't you, Mr. Shaw? <laughs> What's my private life going to do with anything? I spoke to your wife. You lied. You weren't with your kids at the weekend, and you weren't working from home. Is this relevant? It, it, not now, Jerry, please. I think it's very relevant. He has a potentially expensive divorce looming. He looks like he's going to lose his job, and his neighbours are away for the weekend. Oh, really? really? Motive and opportunity. I've never heard such rubbish. Oh, just shut up, Jerry, please. Oh, temper, temper. Mr Shaw, do we really need to search the house? Hmm? Mr. Shaw! Oh. What have I done? I don't know, Mr. Shaw. What have you done? It's all upstairs. What? Why did you do it? Look, 
I'm really sorry. Uh, I think I'd like to talk to my solicitor, please. Might be an idea. Sarge. Can someone else go out with PC Kapoor? Why? She grasped on Carol Watson. Carol's been suspended as a result. Yeah, I know. Well, Carol's a good friend of mine, and she's a great cop. I can't believe what's happened. Well, we don't know what's happened. Still, it makes it difficult for me to be teamed up with PC Kapoor, that's all. Well, maybe it does, but I can't have officers picking and choosing who they work with, can I? You know that. We've got to stick together. <sighs> she didn't. She might have had a good reason. Sorry. Clara, back on the Antrim Green Estate. Report of an assault. You better get on with it. I'll drive. Freak did me over. Did you provoke him? Well, we told you a lot about him and you did nothing. Sierra Oscar from 437, ambulance required at Antrim Green Estate, over. All received, over. Whose flat's been trashed? No sign of anybody. Yeah, well, he's legged it, hasn't he? They'll get him. Who will? Who went after him? Who went after him? Everybody. <sighs> Come on, let's just split up. Come on. Kent. You again. I wouldn't have thought you'd hurry back here. I just wanted to see how the investigation was going. What's with the van? It's been left unattended. It might be the one the sniper used. Do you think? Maybe he wasn't expecting Smithy to go after him. Yeah, maybe. Something went wrong, didn't it? This guy shoots to kill. Either he was trying to kill Kirkby and failed, or he was trying to kill you. Either way, it was a botch job. Still, it could be anyone's van, couldn't it? Any other leads? A boot print. Half a sighting, and we found where he shot from. Something to go on, at least. How are you feeling? You look tired. I'm fine. I'd better get back to work. I'm sure somebody will give you a lift. What do you want? You've had your chance. This is between me and him. No, it isn't. Put that down. He beat the kid up. Place the space poured petrol through my door. Shut it, you! Even if he did, this isn't gonna help. Want a bet? Oh, Guff, the I medicine says you're looking for officers for the vulnerable persons unit. Yeah, that's right. I might have someone for you. Can you spare them? Yeah, and in fact, you'd probably be doing me a favour. Oh, blimey. No, I'll, uh, I'll sort these out upstairs. You book them in, Jim, yeah? I don't believe this. She'll come back, won't she? I don't know. I'll sit down. You know, Sarah wanted everything Jerry had. The houses, the trinkets. I just couldn't compete, so she left me. Went off with the MD we both work with. Sorry to hear that. <sighs> I'd forgive her tomorrow. That's why I robbed Jerry. I thought maybe if I had some money, well, I stood a chance of getting her back. He's not going to miss it. He's just, he just claim it. Divine things were that simple, eh? People don't understand, do they? It's not about right and wrong. About wanting a second chance. If you've known happiness once, why you do anything to get it back? Come on. You can't take the law into your own hands. 
Someone has to. That's what the sniper does. You think that's okay? He's the sniper. I'm not. You don't know that. Hit him hard enough, and we'll find out. What's that going to prove? It's you that'll pay. But I'm one of the good guys. I'm sure you are. That's why you're better off not hitting him. What are you protecting him for? I don't give a damn about him. But you, you're a respectable citizen, aren't you? An important figure in the community? You don't want to mess up your life injuring him. Why bother? He'll just get a legal aid lawyer. And you'll end up in prison surrounded by 20 more like him. Is that what you want? No. Then give me the stick. Girl done good. She's got balls, I'll give her that. It'll take more than this. Gabriel in yet? Um, not yet, no. I did speak to him earlier and he said that he was on his way, though. He was at the scene. When? About half an hour ago. Why'd he go there? What's he doing? Your guess is as good as mine. to the van. The van is the least of our worries. They've got some sort of witness and a footprint, and they know where you shot from. What are you thinking? What do we do? Where do we go? You don't go anywhere. If they've got any sort of description of you, it's best you stay off the streets. What about you? I go back in and front it out. No thanks to you. Now, is there anything? Anything that can connect you with this place? Anything at all? No. Well, it better not be. Well, you've heard it. Well, you need to go and sort it out. If they're going to get to me, they're going to get to you too. We got the info. The name and address on the driver's license are false. OK, check with the other hire firms and the dates the previous victims were shot. See if you use the same personal details. Got it. Is the band-aid all we've got? Until forensics come through, yeah. Well, at least they started to make some mistakes. Sir? I thought you were getting that signed in. Yeah, I was. I went back down there, but they're still too busy. I'll do it later. Listen, I'm uh, going to get a bite to eat. You coming? Oh, no, thanks. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Sorry? You said you'd be here hours ago. Never knew you cared, Sarge. An officer loses contact after being a possible target. I'm bound to be concerned. You could have been in danger, and you're my responsibility. You're right. Are you okay? Yeah. This could be delayed shock. I'm fine. You know what? Maybe you should go home. Work will help take my mind off it. Gabriel, I know what it's like to be shot at. It shakes you up. You can't pretend like nothing's happened. It's playing over in my head. The noise. It's like time freezes. And it's too late. There's blood everywhere. And Kerry's lying there at the centre of it. So frightened. So still. Kerry? You what? You just said Kerry. Did I? I meant Kirkby. I must be getting them confused. It's been a tough few weeks. Yeah. Um. Just try and take it easy, all right? Will do. Don't think 
this changes anything. Wouldn't dream of it. Don't worry, I'm used to being unpopular. Well, maybe you should stop and think about why that is. Maybe you should stop and think about the company you keep. What's all that about? Your guess as good as mine. Why are you so interested anyway? No reason. Hey. All right. You made it then? Yeah, didn't even have to shoot anyone. Boys, boys, there's a time and a place. I hate it. We're just harmless. I hope so. Kept us a 19 in the dark this long. I'd like to keep it that way. So you're not gay now? We all have secrets. I don't know how you can live your life like that. Practice. Well, look into it. So how are we progressing? What have you got for me? What have I got for you? Nothing. Did you? Great. Bye. I got a lead. I spoke to the other van hire companies and it looks like our guy has been using the same fake ID on previous occasions. So where does that leave us? One of the companies has CCTV. How far back? We're going through it now. Have you seen Gabriel? He's around. Yeah, I know he's around, but have you seen him? No, why? He mentioned Kerry. So? Well, it was like he was there when she was shot. Well, you must have been confused. But why would he do that? Well, I don't know, but it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's just a slip of the tongue, not evidence. He just seems connected to everything. Yeah, Kerry, the shooting yesterday. You're reading too much into it, Sarge. Stop thinking about it. Can I take a cup of tea? Yeah. PC Kapoor. I'm DCI Meadows. Sir. I heard you might be interested in joining the VPU. I don't know where you got that idea. Thank you, but no. You'd be helping us out. With all due respect, sir, I think you only want me on the team because I'm Asian. It looks good, and you think any Asian situation, I could sort it out. No, it's not like that at all. And of course, I'd have less to do with the team. Are you always as defensive? I'm sorry, sir, but the answer's no. Next time you recommend somebody for a job, Sergeant, make sure they want to do it. Gov. Bruce, remember you sent me in here to find out if the force was getting too PC? And listen to this. New officer, overnight transfer, Asian, with attitude. She's blown the whistle on something over in Barton Street and they've transferred her over here. Maybe she's been protected because she is Asian. Yeah, okay, I'll find out what I can. Bye. Home from Junior. It's only a maritime, mate. I doubt it. Where is everybody? Working. CCTV of our man. I'm in the IU. Okay. You coming? This is a message for Bruce Malcolm from Superintendent Akara Sunhill. I was hoping to meet, as a matter of some urgency. Come on, come on. Have you heard? We think we might have got it. Right, where is it? That's our man. 
Come on, come on, turn round, turn round. Yes! Got you. Next time on The Bill. I got your package. If I was to shoot you, Jason, I don't think many of my colleagues would shed a tear. If you can't see what you're doing to yourself, to June, then you might as well drink this. Go on, drink it.